Oh, look who it is! Josiah? I, um, I was, uh... Leaving again? Yes, just leaving. I'll see you soon. Perhaps. Uh, what do you mean? Well, if I was you, I'd disappear too. This is all pretty much over. I'll be back. No, you won't. Let's not pretend no more. Get out of here. I'll miss you, Arthur. You've been a fine friend to me. No, no, let's not get over sentimental. Well, the place is quiet. Get out of here. Go with my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. <sighs> Found a friend looking for you. Mr. Morgan. Sir. How are you? A little better. I hope so. How can I help you? I'm sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I've made progress brokering peace. You have? I believe so. Colonel Favors has agreed to a meeting to discuss and maybe resolve his alleged grievances in mine. Now, he has lied to me more times than I care to remember, but maybe this time... He must want peace. Why could he possibly want to humiliate us further? We got words for his kind, but they're colloquial. Ah, perhaps I could make one last request. My men are not allowed to carry arms. You want us to keep the peace? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dull talking and ceremony. But I feel with some non-tribe members present, their chances of lying or worse will be reduced. Will you, Arthur? It ain't my business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. Do it for me. Charles, I got I've it. saved your life. Do it for me. <sighs> sure. Come on. You owe this man. You should have him do your negotiation. Let's go. So welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Thanks a lot for joining me. My name's Mac or Chalk Joystick. So we're going to go and help Charles and Rain Falls with these discussions. Hopefully they'll go well. And uh, hopefully these people can keep their land. Because the army want the land because there's oil under it. So we'll head out with Charles. And uh, when we get to our destination, we will see you there. There's my men up ahead. Right, so we're just meeting up with the group now. Where we're hopefully going to get these successful negotiations on the way. So these are Rainfalls' men. We're going to go and meet the army and talk to Colonel Favors. There's the camp up ahead. But I hope you enjoy the episode, guys. Let's go and see what uh, Favors has got to say for himself. So Arthur and Charles are the sort of uh, muscle. So let's see uh, if they change their tune. Colonel Favors, Captain Munro, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're uh, friends of my people. Interesting looking fellows. Yeah, they won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. Yeah. Listen, Mr. Um, Chief. Uh, yes, uh, Mr. I can't say that silly name. Is it? In English, they call me Rain's Fall. Yes, yes, I'm mine. Uh, I'm sure they do. Listen, He's a bit of a tool, isn't he? We're all Americans here, and we want an outcome. But quite frankly, quite frankly, I, I'm confused. Your men are little more than criminals, in my opinion. Yeah. Keep breaking uh, peace treaties uh, we've made, causing disturbances in everybody's lives. But I pride myself on being a gentleman. Arthur's sort of keeping his head down a bit, uh, so he doesn't get recognized. Limits. And he's Just also up, coughing his guts up as well. Jesus. You okay, man? Someone. 
Jax, take him away. Where was I? You're a gentleman with limits? Are you being facetious, sir? Come this way, buddy. I said, are you being facetious, Captain Monroe? No, sir, I am not. Chief Reigns. That's, uh, <gasps> Reigns' fault. Exactly. Bloody Chief hell, he's not well at all. Wait a cough. Sure. Wait here. I'll fetch you some water. I'll, I'll be fine. Thank you. No, no. You know he's going to have Monroe court martialed. Or attempt to. He's going to make a disgrace of him. Monroe? He seems likable enough for a West Pointer. Why? You know what Favors is like. Because he thinks it's right. Because he thinks Monroe is a patsy. Oh, he's going to land uh, Captain Morgan with it all. To do with those vaccines getting stolen. He thinks Monroe is going to force him into making a concession with the Indians. So he removes Monroe. Oh, dear. Removes how? Favors wants him tried for treason. And hanged. Oh, God. Right, we can't Why have that. Favors care about the Indians. Because he doesn't want to back down at his whole professional life. You know what they say about him. High tail favors. The man who missed a battle. Poor Monroe. Kinda liked him. I know. Right, we've got to help him out. He's alright, Monroe. Stuck up. Your men violated the treaty. That treaty is null and void. I have been appointed to negotiate. Feeling better? Yeah. Come on. <coughs> Let's go. <coughs> Right, so lands you currently are so all I'm just going to land Monroe with all the trouble. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? Good day, Colonel Favors. Well, that was remarkably unproductive. Right, he's got to get Captain Monroe out of there. Quite clear, Colonel, that it wanted peace and peace for all, and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Oh, is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir? from a junior officer in public. Was that its plan too, sir? You insult me. You insult the regiment. Arrest this man. This Arrest is part of his plan. Subordination. Disobeying an order. Treason. Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. You disrupted a negotiation. Let him go. This is all getting out of hand. Hi, Captain Monroe. Let's get out of here. I, if I, I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut, amigo. <laughs> I don't want to kill this man, but shout, bitch. Charles, All right, let's get back to the horse. Now we're getting out of here. Time to get out of here. Come on. We're nearly there. Just moonwalk back to Blanca. Come on, hurry up. You won't get away with this. Think about the All right. Jesus, let's get out of here. This way. Right. We've got Monroe out. We've got to get him to safety. So we've got Charles with us. You're going to help out here. They're going to be soon on our tail, I think. We got some on our tail. Can you shoot at these men? Yeah, but we can. Please hold Maybe. your fire. Here come more of them. Coming from the front. Kill those Indian lovers. <laughs> the hold your fire. Beauty. Keep going. Oh, they're coming from the front again. I might uh, get a better gun, I think. Let's get the bolt action rifle. We do like that one. That's our favourite. Right. Can you shoot? I can't do it. They're trying to kill you. Let's keep uh, Tom Rose safe. Get down. Watch out. Now. Right, we're getting behind this rock. They come. Here they I do love this bloody gun. Oh, they're coming behind us. Just wake up. I make sure it works. What's our plan here? Find a love and look for the valley. Oh, God, I've got my bloody dead eye. Get that, Noah. 
got him. Now for the I'm next one. Bloody dead eye. This is I knew this was a mistake. I see if I can get the noise back. Not doing very well here. Bloody horse. Alright, follow Charles. Right, so I'm not sure where we're gonna go with him. Oh, there's more coming right in front of us. Very good shooting. I think we're finally in the clear. Everybody okay? Not really. <laughs> what do we do now? You get out of here. Fast. Take you to the station. I can't believe that just happened. Right, looks like we're going to take him to the train life. station. Uh, get him I out of here. Talk. So we'll, uh, we'll head that way. And when we're a bit nearer, we will see you there. Can't die for no right, okay. So we're at the station now. Thank God the train's in. Right, let's get him on it, for Christ's sake. So he's going to be used as a patsy. Get out of here, Captain Monroe. I fear it may be Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Here. Here's some money. Take, take it, fella. Get out of here. Start a new life somewhere. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thank you. <laughs> Just hop on a train to San Denis, jump on a boat, or avoid Guam. Yeah. Where? Forget about it. <laughs> Meet me at the reservation. <laughs> Morgan! <clears throat> are you okay? Well, never better. What are you doing here? Well, I'm on my way down to Mexico. They're finally sending me on a mission. Huh. Brother Dorkins is very jealous. <laughs> oh, hell. What's wrong? I'm, uh, uh, I'm dying, sister. Okay. Yeah, I got TB. I got it. Beating the man to death <clears throat> for a few bucks. <sighs> I've lived a bad life, sister. We've all lived bad lives, Mr. Morgan. We all sin. But I know you. <laughs> you don't know me. Forgive me, but that's the problem. You don't know you. What do you mean? I don't know, but whenever we happen to meet, you're always helping people and smiling. I had a son. He passed away. 
I had a girl who loved me. I threw that away. My mama died when I was a kid. And my daddy, well, I watched him die. I watched soon enough. My husband died a long time ago. Life is full of pain. But there is also love and beauty. What am I going to do now? Be grateful that for the first time, you see your life clearly. Sure. Perhaps you could help somebody. Helping makes you really happy. <sighs> but I still don't believe in nothing. <laughs> Often neither do I. Huh? But then I meet someone like you and everything makes sense. You're too smart for me, sister. <laughs> I guess uh, I'm afraid. There is nothing to be afraid of, Mr. Morgan. Take a gamble that love exists and do a loving act. All aboard. I shall try. I know you will. Goodbye, goodbye, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Sister. Jesus Christ. It's uh it's heavy going, isn't it? I mean bloody bits. Never been this upset since watching Marley and me. Um, poor Arthur. Yeah, it's just um unbelievable, really. Uh, he knows he's dying and um, there's nothing he can do about it. But there's something he can do to um, help someone else. And he knows what he's doing and what he's going to do. Right, okay, so let's just check the map to see what we'll be doing next. So we've got Charles Smith back at the reservation. And we've got Sadie Adler near the camp. So we will head that way in the next episode. Well, thanks a lot for joining me. I really do appreciate it. Uh, if you did like what you saw and you would consider subscribing, that'd be absolutely bonzo. But uh, until the next one, stay safe and take it easy.